Okay. <laughs> All right. What's up, guys? So, my name is Vio Adam, and I'm a professional voice actor, actor, producer, director, YouTuber, and teacher. I do a little bit of everything nowadays. So, uh, what I wanted to do today is I wanted to teach you guys a little bit about how to act. All right, I get messages like this all the time from people asking, Adam, can you like teach us how to act a little bit? And I thought, yeah, I've been doing that at some of the local uh, theaters and schools around me. So I figured it's about time that I shared with you guys some of my knowledge. What's up, everybody? Hello. Hi, chat. Very nice to see all of you. <laughs> We're going to hang out for a minute or two before we get started. All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. What is up? <laughs> I hope you guys are all having a pretty good day. I know it kind of sucks that we're all stuck inside right now, but you know, it's only temporary. It's going to be fine. Eventually, we will all be okay and we'll all be able to go outside and have some fun. But in the meantime, I figured I may as well teach you guys some stuff. I know that not everybody's getting to, you know, have their usual classes. So I figured, what the heck? I'll do one of my classes, one of the ones that I teach. So, uh, yeah, hi everybody. I love you guys too, thank you all so much. I apologize to anybody I have not been able to get their like, shout out to when I made that video. I got, I got hundreds of people asking for shout outs from the character. So, I'm getting through it. <laughs> I'm getting to all of them, but it is taking a while, so I apologize for that. All right, so here we go. Let's start this thing. Let's teach some acting. All right, so the first thing that you guys have to know whenever you're trying to act, right, is uh, before we can perform anything, we have to understand what it is that we're performing, right? I mean, I can't really, <laughs> I can't. Uh, I can't read something out properly and perform it properly if I don't know what I'm saying, right? So the very first thing that you ever have to do whenever you've got a piece in front of you, right, uh, is you have to basically play detective, all right? So the way that we do that is we have to, uh, we have to ask ourselves who, what, where, when, why, how, and what one more time. All right, now that sounds like a lot. So here, let me write it down for you guys. So, who, what, where, when, why, how, what. All right, here, I'm gonna move my face over a little bit. Let me move my face over a little bit so you guys can see this a little better. There we go, okay. So, yes, before we perform anything, we have to understand what it is we're going to say, right? I can't really, I can't really do anything if I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hey, thank you, anime for, anime peeps for real. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Get the love out in chat for our latest dono. All right, so, uh, yes, so we gotta ask ourselves who, what, where, when, why, how, and what. Yes, there is a link to the uh, scripts that I am using today. Uh, there's a link to them down in the description. So if you would like to follow along with this in front of you, there is a link down there to be able to do that. You can't edit anything, but you can read it. All right, so we have, uh, we have this piece right here. This is an evil speech, all right? So let's read it all together. So it starts, you fool. The power contained within these orbs is enough to turn one into a living god. Dot, dot, not quite an ellipsis, <laughs> but like almost one. All right, we'll put that in our minds. All I have to do now is kill you and take back what is rightfully mine with an exclamation point right there. Cool. So, let's start with that. We understand what we've read, cool. So who are we? All right, yeah, chat, play along with me. So, uh, I, wanna, I wanna hear in the chat what you, guys, what you guys are thinking, right? So who are we? We always wanna be as specific as we possibly can. Now, the more specific we are with any of these things, the better, right? If I'm saying uh, I'm a bad guy, right? That's pretty generic, right? We understand, yeah, we are a bad guy in this, right? It's called evil speech, right? 
But let's see if we can get a little more, uh, a little more specific with that. Because bad guy could be anything. Like, you know, uh, King Dice is a bad guy. So is the devil. So is Baldy. Those are very, very different characters, right? We want to get as specific as we can. So who are we? You fool. The power contained within these orbs is enough to turn one into a living god. Uh, all I have to do now is kill you and take back what is rightfully mine. So we are a, uh, well, we are someone who, uh, evil... Ga uh, guy that wants to become a god. <laughs> He's willing to kill his enemies, willing to kill, and he uh, thinks he's better than everybody, right? So we know these things. He's an evil guy that wants to become a god um, because of that, that, that second sentence right there, right? The power contained within these orbs is enough to turn one into a living god, right? So we can see right there, he wants to become a god, right? And that tells us a lot about a character. Like, Baldy, yeah, he's a bad guy, but he just wants to teach people math, right? He doesn't want to become a living god, right? That's a that's a higher level of like evilness and power hungriness than a lot of characters have. So we can tell this guy is really power hungry. Cool. So next thing, uh, he's willing to kill, right? We know that. He says right here, all I have to do now is kill you and take back what is rightfully mine. Right, so we can see that right there. Um, so he's clearly he's willing to kill. And again, that's very different. There's there's plenty of bad guys out there that are not willing to kill. I think I just saw a super chat go by and it didn't uh, show up there. Uh, uh, Frederina Hawk, thank you so much for the uh, for the donation right there. I'm sorry it did not play. It it might in a minute, <laughs> but I appreciate it. Thank you very very much. All right. Um, Yes, we can see. He's he's an evil guy that wants to become a god, and he's willing to kill for it, right? And then we've got you fool, right? Now, you fool, that's a weird way of talking, right? We, in our normal day-to-day -day life, don't usually say stuff like that. You fool, right? I don't go around in my day-to-day -day life calling people a fool. Now, so with that, with you fool, that tells us that this guy, um thinks he's better than all these people. He thinks he is like high status. I am like the king, right? Kings and people like that are typically ones that'll say stuff like, you fool, right? That's not really something that we'll say, right? So, you fool. Uh, and he thinks he's better than everyone. Thinks he is better than everyone. Thinks he's better than everyone. That's fine. Uh, cool. Yeah, so we can see that right there. And that informs a lot about who this character is, right? So we started from just, he's a bad guy, which we could take infinite different directions. Now we know what's driving him, right? He wants to become a god, he's willing to kill, and he thinks he's better than everyone. That's a very specific person now. It makes it a lot easier for us to become that. Right? Because we understand what it is that we're becoming. Right? So, next thing that we have to answer is uh, who, uh, yeah, so who am I? What do I want? What do I want? Right? Well, we actually kind of, uh, <laughs> we kind of answered that in the first one. Wants to become a god. Right? He wants to become a god. Right? Excuse me. And that makes it easier, right? So we know exactly what this person wants. He wants to become a god. Right? Mm. And he also wants to take back what is rightfully his. And, and to take back what is his. So yes, if you're just joining us, before you do any acting for anything, you've got to figure out the script. We're doing some script analysis. You ask yourself, who am I? What do I want? Where am I? When is it? Why do I want the thing that I want? How am I going to get it? And what is standing in my way? All right? 
So that's what we're figuring out right now. So we've got this evil speech right here. And uh, that shouldn't be capitalized. Um, yes, yeah, so now we've got who am I? What do I want? Now, where am I? See, this one's a little bit tricky. Uh, we can see right here, there is no super obvious answer to this. Uh, oh, my camera seems to have moved a little bit. Let me. Here, I'll just move over. <laughs> That's probably better. All right, now I'm uh, more centered. All right, so, um, the, uh, yeah, where am I? Right, so we're always getting this from the script that's always been our goal so far right we got all of these answers from the script where where am i do you guys see in the in the chat can you see uh any uh any clues to where we are in this one it's a little tricky All right, guys, it's a little bit of a trick question. So in every script that we get, we're not necessarily going to be able to answer all of these questions from the script itself, right? So what that means, uh, what that means is that we just have to pick something, right? It doesn't necessarily matter what we pick, but we have to pick something. All right. So uh, one of the things that I always teach my students is to be strong and wrong. All right. It is entirely, entirely OK if you make a mistake in stuff like this. Right. Whenever we're going through these, it's not necessarily as important to be 100 percent correct as it is to have made a choice. Right. We just have to choose something. As long as we're choosing something, the director then can point us in the right direction, right? We don't necessarily have to be totally right the first time. The director can see that we made a choice and they can point us into the right direction, all right? So, we can see right here, all right? Uh, where? Doesn't really tell us where we are. We can tell that we are close enough to, you know, we're in the same space as this person that we're talking to, so we can put that in the space with our uh, rival slash person we are gonna, gonna end. Uh, so we can see that, right? But we don't really know exactly where we are. So what I'm gonna say is for this, we are in uh, a, uh, we are in this volcano. Volcano layer of, of, uh, yeah, it's our, our, our evil volcano layer, right? So right there, now we've got a really, really specific image in our head right there. You know, that might not have been right, but, it's a really strong choice right there. We can picture exactly what that is. We got like lava and stalagmites and stalactites and rocks all over the place, right? So we can see that we are in our evil volcano lair. And that helps us, right? So if we're in a, uh, and that's gonna be different than if we are, you know, let's say in church, right? If we're in church, you know, we're going to be acting a lot different than we are if we're in our big evil villain lair, right? So that informs that. Where, depending on where you're at, is always going to be different, right? So when is it? When is it? What time is it? What season is it? And again, guys, do you see anything? <laughs> so it's like, yeah, basically the volcano lair of doom. Yes. <laughs> Essentially. All right. So here we go. So when is it? What time is it? Again, in this piece right here, we don't really have a whole lot of clues as to that. And again, we're not always going to have the answer for those in the read itself, right? So we just have to pick something. So I think it is nighttime, right? It is late at night. At night. Late at night, the volcano is open on the top, right? We can see the volcano, uh, we're in like the middle of it and there's like a hole up at the top and we can see the moon out there. Uh, moon is out, right? Late at night, the moon is out and that's like illuminating ourselves, right? 
again, maybe not right, but it's a very specific thing that we can use in our uh, in our performance, right? And one thing for for when, right? That can inform your read as well. Like if it's a uh, if you're playing a character and they are uh, uh, talking to uh, talking to a friend, right? You're gonna be talking to them differently if it's you know noon, right? It's like twelve in the afternoon, or if it's twelve at night and your parents are downstairs sleeping, right? You got to be quiet now, right? So that's how when often helps us as where. So why? Why do we want, uh, yeah, so where are we? When is it? Why do I want what I want? Why do I want what I want? Oh, here, I can, boop, there we go. Why do I want what I want? So, let's take a look at that. You fool, the power contained within these orbs is enough to turn one into a living god. Uh, all I have to do now is kill you and take back what is rightfully mine. Uh, why do I want what I want? I want... Let's see. Why do you guys think that this character wants to become this god and wants to take back what is rightfully his? Again, there are no right or wrong answers for stuff like this, right? If it doesn't say specifically in the text, you can make up whatever you want as long as you've made a choice, right? Because if we're, if we're painting with like really broad strokes, that's not going to work as well. Like if, uh, if the line is like, uh, yeah, we'll just take you fool, right? You could say that, uh... If we haven't made a choice, you fool, right? Okay. How did that character feel? I have no idea, right? But if I, uh, if we decide uh, that that character is mad about it, he wants to put somebody in their place, you fool, right? That's different. We understand a little bit what happened right there. Or you fool, right? That's a totally different read. Or like if it's a friend who's like commenting on how goofy their friend is, you fool, right? That's totally, totally different. And we just made a choice, right? It's the same phrase. We just changed the intention on it, right? So uh, why do I want what I want? I want, yes, all right. So we don't have a lot of backstory on this character, but we can always make something up, right? So, here we go. Uh, why do I want what I want? Well, I think he, uh, he was, uh, he had, uh, was abused by an evil witch as a kid. She turned him into a newt. <laughs> she turned him into a newt, and he's, uh, trying to, he wants revenge, <laughs> right? Anybody here know uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail? <laughs> she turned me into a newt. I got better. <laughs> yes, he needs to turn into a god to get back at them, to get it all back. He wants, wants revenge. Yeah, there we go. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's up, chameleon? What's up, buddy? <laughs> All right. Now, next question is, how will I get what I want? I get what? Capital I. How will I get what I want? This one, we had a big clue right in there, right? All I have to do now is kill you and take back what is rightfully mine. So guys, how do you think he's going to get what he wants? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's really easy. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? All right, how will I get what I want? Let me see in chat, what do you guys think? How is this guy going to get what he wants? <laughs> There's a little clue right there. <sighs> Little bit of a clue. Yes, there we go. Yes, he is going to kill this guy and steal the orbs. He will kill this dude. 
this puny human and uh and take the orbs there we go <laughs> he's gonna give him the slappy slap slap <laughs> exactly yes so he uh He's going to kill this puny human and take the orbs. And notice the language that we used right there, this puny human, right? The more specific we can get in the language with any of these things, the more that helps inform us, right? Because if he's a, uh, if he thinks of this person like a bug that's gonna, that, that needs to be squished, that's gonna be different than like if he sees this person as like, you know, a real threat, right? If it's like some, big monster that's coming for him that's a different sort of you know reaction you're gonna have than if it's like this is gonna be a piece of cake this thing doesn't even deserve to live right so that's very different and then what is standing in my way <laughs> it's bendy what is standing in my way all right Let's take a look at this, guys. All right, so what is standing in my way? What do you guys think? All right, so we've got you fool. The power contained within these orbs is enough to turn one into a living god. All I have to do now is kill you and take back what is rightfully mine. So what is standing in the way for him getting what he wants? What do you guys think? What could possibly be standing in the way of this person becoming a god and taking back what is rightfully his? Exactly. Bianca, yes. The person. The hero. Yes. King Di Exactly. Exactly. The thing that is standing in the way of this person, uh, of this evil character. Let's give him a name. Uh, we're going to give him a name. That's often very helpful. So, uh... This guy's name is the, the Emperator. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but he is the Emperator. So it's like the Terminator and an Emperor. He's the Emperator. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> The Emperor wants to become a god. Um, so what's standing in the way is the hero. He has the orb and knows not what it does. Cool. There we go. <laughs> or Fred. <laughs> or Sans. <laughs> or, or Flowey. Yeah. <laughs> the Emperor. All right. So here we go. So what we've done. If you guys are just joining us, what we've done right here, before you ever act anything, you've got to do some script analysis, right? Before you can perform something, you have to understand what you are performing, right? And the best way to understand what you're performing is to go through it and play detective. So we asked ourselves, right? Who am I? What do I want? Where am I? When is it? Why do I want the thing that I want? How will I get what I want? What is, and what is standing in my way? Cool. So that makes sense, all right? Does anybody, uh, does that make sense to everybody? I hope so. Because what we're doing right now, this is called Stanislavski technique. Stanislavski tech. Stanislavski technique. So that, this is, basically what I teach my students in our first uh, our first sort of lesson all right is I'll teach them a little bit of script analysis all right so what we know now we've got a really really good understanding now of what is happening in this scene what our character is seeing right we are the Emperor he wants to become a god he's willing to kill for it and he thinks he's better than everyone what does he want again he wants to become a god and to take back what is his where are we we are in the space with our rival the person we are gonna end that is our evil volcano lair 
What time is it? It's late at night. The moon is out. We can see it above us. Why do we want the thing that we want? We were abused by an evil witch as a kid. She turned him into a newt, and he wants revenge. How's he going to get what he wants? He will kill this puny human and take the orbs. What is standing in his way? The hero. He has the orb, and he knows not what it does. All right? Good. So with that, and we got all that, you know, you know, some of it came from our little, our little brain, right? And some of it came from the script itself, right? But even the pieces that didn't come from the script itself, we thought, okay, what would make sense in this universe for this character, right? So we had to use our imagination a little bit to answer some of the questions, but for the vast majority of these, it came from the script, Right? That's the biggest thing. We always we want to use as much of the script as we possibly can appropriately. Right? We're trying to play detective and to answer these questions to the very best of our abilities. All right. So with that, what I want you guys to do at home now. I'll do it along with you. All right, we're all going to uh, we're all gonna do a read of this together. All right. So, uh, and again, so we're going to take all these things. We know all these things. We're going to internalize all that. We're going to think about all that for ourselves, and we are going to become this Emperor. All right? So we know all of these things, and we are going to do it. All right? So, and again, you're allowed to be wrong, right? I'm probably not going to do a great read either. But we know all of these things, so we're going to take a stab at it. We're going to make strong choices. I'm going to go for it, all right? You guys ready? You guys ready to do this? Here we go. I can't hear you, but you can hear you. And if you're not doing it, why are you here? This is an acting class. <laughs> you got to do it. All right, so, all right. The Emperor wants to become a god, willing to kill, thinks he's better than everyone. He wants to become a god and take back what is his. In space of our arrival, we're going to end this guy. It's late at night. Uh, I was abused, and I'm going to get revenge. We're going to kill this puny human, take his orbs. The hero's in our way, and we are ready to do this. All right. Here we go. Internalize all that. Here we go. You fool. The power contained within these orbs is enough to turn one into a living god. All I have to do now is kill you and take back what is rightfully mine. There we go, <laughs> right? That's all we do, right? We just take all this information that we have and we just use it into our read. So how did everybody do? How did everybody do? Did it feel all right? <laughs> Good job, everybody. I apologize if that was very loud. I, uh, I might be clipping a little bit, but... Um, <laughs> Welcome to live stream <laughs> live streams. <laughs> I missed you too, chameleon. <laughs> All right. Nice. So good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. That's what we do with uh, before we do anything else. Before we do a read, we always want to answer those questions, right? Who, what, where, when, why, how, and what, right? very simple you always just want to play detective before we start all right so let's go to the uh, to the next one all right so all of the things that i just taught you guys right this works for animation for commercials for narration for any type of voiceover out there and there's a ton of types of voiceover out there so the next one that we're going to look at this one is a uh, is a uh, this is a commercial Right? It's for honey baked ham. Uh, also, these are real scripts, by the way. These aren't things that I just like made up. These are like real things out there in the world. So, um, for this one right here, this is a honey baked ham commercial. Right? So, let's read through it. All right? Twist on this one. There's two characters. Right? So, let's read through it. B1, hi, we're bees. B2, and we're mad. B1, have you ever gone up to a bee and said, Hey, you bee, thanks for inspiring the great taste of honey-baked ham. B2, no, <laughs> you haven't. B1, whatever, you love it, you enjoy it, but you never thank us. B2, and you wonder why we sting. <laughs> cool. So what are the... Uh, <laughs> what are the immediate things that come to mind right here? We can tell they're goofy, right? This one's got some humor to it. Uh, and, uh, 
yeah, it's got some humor to it. And uh, the two bees, although different characters, they're essentially functioning really as one voice, right? They both seem to have the same sort of intention on this piece, right? So what do we do before we start? Before we start acting anything out, what do we do? And again, you can use this for uh, for acting on uh, in voiceover, but this is also what you do for acting on stage, right? So if you're working on a school play or anything like that, you should do the same thing with your, uh, you know, with uh, with the script that you have right here. This is not like a voice acting technique. This is an acting technique, right? All the stuff that I'm talking about right here also applies to regular acting. I am also a regular actor. I don't just do voiceover. Uh, before this whole coronavirus thing happened, I just performed uh, in a, uh, a musical, Bonnie and Clyde, and then I had four, <laughs> four more musicals lined up that I was going to perform in. And uh, <laughs> at the moment, <laughs> I don't know if any of them are happening. So, uh, that's um that's been amusing <laughs> bit of a bummer but uh we'll see how that all shakes out anyway so before we start what do we got to do <sighs> yes this is my real face so so before we start right first thing that we've got to do is we've got to ask again who, what, where, when, why, how, what? Seven questions. Seven questions. If you answer them, they will immediately make you a better actor. The other thing is, you, what you're essentially doing with this technique is you're giving yourself direction, right? A lot of people really, really struggle when they're first acting because they need direction. Like, they have it within them to do all of these things, but they struggle with, like, figuring out what to do they like to be told what to do but with this technique you can tell yourself what to do right so that's what we're trying to do right here we're trying to help you direct yourself so who what where when why how what who what where when why how and what all right and yes we do ask to, uh we do ask what twice sometimes i ask what three times but we'll get to that later all right, so who? Who are we? For the purposes of this, for the purposes of this experiment, uh, usually you do one for each character, but these bees are basically the same person, right? So uh, they're essentially speaking in one voice. Um, so for for our purposes right now, let's just do them as a as one character. All right, so who are we? Who are we? I act like your numerous teacher. Oh, boy. Well, I hope that's a good thing. I hope you like that teacher. Yeah, I do teach a lot of voice acting classes and a lot of acting classes, and I direct, I produce, I do my YouTube stuff. I do a lot of acting. All right, so, uh, yeah, studied at very prolific academies, and I, yes, I know my stuff, and this is one of the uh, easiest techniques to, uh, to grasp. So we're starting off with Stanislavski. Um, which is basically just answer some questions, think about it for a minute, think about how you would react, right, to that, and then go and do it, right? So before we do any of that, we're always asking ourselves, who, what, where, when, why, how, what? All right, so, so we are bees. Bees that uh, are sassy and mad right these are sassy mad bees right and we can see that how did we figure out that they're mad it's right there <laughs> hi we're bees and we're mad <laughs> so yes we know we know they're bees we know they're mad and they're sassy right because of the way that they're talking right and you wonder why we sting yeah <laughs> basically no you haven't whatever that's pretty sassy. So we're some sassy bees that are mad, right? So what do we want? What do you guys think we want? Chat? Yeah, I love theater too. It's my 
favorite. That's actually what I did uh, for a long time before I found voiceover, and that became, like, my specialty. Um, yeah, it was just stage. A lot of stage. I've done very little film. There's, like, a couple films I've been in that are, like, real short films, but I haven't done much film. That's mostly in L.A., and I worked in New York. Um, like, 80% of film is out in out in L.A. I did New York, so there's, like, a little less. A lot of stage in New York. Not so much film. Um, but, yeah, a lot of voiceover. All right. Yes, there we go. To be thanked. Good answer. Good gerbil. Good job. And me and a lot of people. A lot of people got this right. Good job. Good, 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 good. What do we want? We want uh, want to be thanked. <laughs> Why? Why is that so difficult? Right? All they want is to be thanked. Right? It's very simple. It's not a difficult thing. Just to be thanked. All right. So where are we? Where do you guys think we are? I've got an idea, but I want to see... I want to see uh, what you guys have. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. So where do you guys think? Where do you guys think we are? I've got an idea. And again, for this one, it doesn't really say in the piece, but we can we can make some uh, we can make some guesses, right? We can make some guesses as to where we are. Yeah, I mean, I think so, too. I think we're probably in the beehive, right? Probably in the beehive. We've got the camera, right? The video camera's, like, up on us, and it's, uh, we're just, like, there in front of the beehive. And we're just like, hey, what do you want? <laughs> right? So, at the beehive. 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 Right? We're at the beehive. Right? And we can infer that probably because, like, we're bees, we're mad. We're probably at the beehive, right? Yeah, we have nothing to uh, nothing to really point us in any direction, um, so we're probably at the beehive, right? And if you have a different answer, like we could be at a flower, right? We could be uh, just hanging out at a flower, and we're just like mad at them. That's fine too, right? We just have to pick something, right? As long as we can picture where we are, that'll help inform what we do as an actor, right? So we're at the beehive. All right, when is it? What time is it? What season is it? All right, it's probably spring. All right, it's probably spring because we got bees. Um, you know, there's flowers. Is here. <laughs> flowers here. Flowers. Right. And for this one, that does kind of that does kind of inform our read a little bit because it's not necessarily going to be winter. Right? You don't see a lot of bees in winter, right? Um, and if it was winter, you know, we might be shivering a little bit. Uh, if it was summer, we might be like, really hot, right? But we're not really doing any of that. So it's probably, you know, spring. Probably spring. Cool. So why do we want to be thanked? Why do we want to be thanked? <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> There's a lot of answers. Yeah. Springtime. Yeah, definitely during the day. Definitely during the day. Totally during the day. Good answer. Good pickup. Yes. I was thinking that and I didn't say it. Yes. Or summer, spring, summer. Summer's fine too. Yeah. Either way. But good, good, good. <laughs> totally work. Um, good. So why do we want to be thanked? Why do we want to be thanked? And here, we can look at the script. Why do we want to be thanked? Hi, we're bees, and we're mad. Have you ever gone up to a bee and said, Hey, you, bee, thanks for inspiring the great taste of honey-baked ham. No, you haven't. Whatever, you love it. You enjoy it, but you never thank us. And you wonder why we sting. Right? So, uh, why do they want to be thanked? <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, a puppy, I like that. Uh, because we put a lot of work into this. We do all this. And you guys just take it, right? You use it. You enjoy it. And then you just forget about all the hard work that we put into this, right? That's just wrong, right? We deserve some respect for all the hard work that we're putting in. So, yeah. 
Yeah, we deserve respect. Yeah, we deserve respect. We are being used and abused and our honey is is awesome. <laughs> Cuz we deserve re respect. We are being used and abused and our honey is awesome. You ungrateful people. <laughs> Yeah, so good. Good, good, good. We work hard. Yeah, exactly. We work hard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel called out. <laughs> yeah, right. So next time you guys see a bee, I want you guys to thank it. <laughs> thank that bee. Hey, yo, bee. Thank you for the honey. Please don't sting me, right? <laughs> All right, we deserve respect. All right, so how are we going to get what we want? How are we going to get what we want? What do you guys think? How are we going to get what we want? Baldy. Hi, Brooklyn. Happy birthday. <laughs> no more spamming, though. All right. <laughs> it's like the B movie. Yeah. All right, so we got, what do you guys think? How are we going to get what we want? How are we going to get them to say thankful? So we've got, hi, we're bees and we're mad. Have you ever gone up to a bee and said, hey, you bee, thanks for inspiring the great taste of honey-baked ham? No, you haven't. Whatever. You love it, you enjoy it, but you never thank us. And you wonder why we stink, right? So how are we going to do that? <laughs> I'll protect from my... <laughs> This is not FGTV. <laughs> they are way bigger than I am. All right. Uh, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna confront them. You know, we're confronting them. We are going to uh, put them in their their place. Call out this nonsense. Yeah. Right. You want me as my theater teacher? Well, there was a school that had me as their theater teacher, but they uh, they fired me because I was gay, racist, and a provocateur. None of which is true. <laughs> but, like, okay. <laughs> so, uh, but that's a story for another time. And I cannot tell you the name of the school because that uh, that might come back and bite me in the butt for saying, <laughs> saying all that. Anyway... <laughs> Yeah, by shaming them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By stinging their butt. No, I don't think we're doing that. See, I, uh... <laughs> I, I see how you could have gotten that. Because um, it says we sting. But that's not, uh... She I the, the bee isn't stinging in that moment. Um... Unless they are. They very well could be. They could be stinging. But I don't think that's, like, the choice that we're making. We're making the choice to confront them, right? Uh, before she stings, there's all this, right? So we don't want to get hung up on just one aspect of it. That is a tactic, right? And that's something we can get into in maybe a later episode of this. That could be a tactic to uh, to get uh, what we want, but that's not like the overarching way that we're t uh, attempting this, right? So what we're doing is we're uh, we're confronting them, we're putting them in their place, right? Because we talk about all this. Hey, thanks for inspiring the great taste of honey back. No, you haven't. Whatever, you love it, you enjoy it, but you never thank us. We don't want to get caught up on just the very last thing that they do. We want to take all of this together to come up with. Okay, what what is the you know overarching way that we're trying to do uh, trying to get what we want, and the way that we're trying to do that is we're confronting them, right? We're calling them out on this injustice. Cool. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. So the next uh, and what is standing in our way? What do you guys think is standing in the way of uh, of us getting what we want? Of us getting the thank you. What's standing in our way? This one's a little tough. This one's a little tough. I'll give you that. Um, but you guys know, if you don't know, we make a choice, right? Like even that sting thing, that's fine, right? You're allowed to be wrong. 
you are totally allowed to be wrong. That is a choice. As long as you stuck with that choice, that would totally work, right? It might not be what they're looking for, but that could totally work. And then the director can point you in the right direction, right? We'd always rather see you make a choice and then be able to change it a little bit than just not make a choice, right? So it's always good to make a choice. Try something, right? So even that, uh, that uh, how they're going to get it, they're going to get it just by stinging. You can make that choice. But you got to commit to it, right? As long as you committed to it, that's totally fine. All right. So what's standing in our way? What's standing in our way is these ungrateful humans who do not thank us. Yes. <laughs> Why do people keep bringing up FGTV? I'm not FGTV. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate what they do, but that's not me. That's not me at all. <laughs> We're very, very different channels. I wish I was as popular as FGTV. That'd be amazing. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> oh, they're editing. Mm. so good so good i do all my own editing and that's probably a bad thing i should really hire an editor but that's expensive and i don't <laughs> i don't have that kind of money um anyway uh so yeah uh why yeah what's standing in our way what's standing in our way is those ungrateful people these 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 uh these these uh just just these humans who don't value our hard work, right? So we got to make them appreciate our hard work, right? Right? All right. There we go. There we go. Good job, guys. <laughs> Where was I? Yeah, I guess I can answer some of that um, before we get into this. Uh, there was a lot of reasons I was away. Um, the Biggest one is, I don't know if you guys have heard of COPPA, 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 C-O-P-P-A. This was a big thing that people were talking about like a couple months ago that like made it so uh, YouTube channels were not allowed to uh, be for kids. And like my channel, basically what, what happened is there's a law that made it so if uh, your videos are for people under the age of 13, then like you have to do certain things and like you can't have comments and all that stuff and my channel is essentially just for like general audiences like i make my stuff family friendly and we don't curse or anything on the channel but like we're not specifically for like little kids or anything like i've got people i've got people in their 30s and 40s watching my videos and if you like cuphead or you like baldy or you like bendy like you'll probably like my videos that's not really that but i know that a lot of kids also watch my videos so i was in like this really weird spot and basically if the ftc decided that your stuff is for kids and you didn't say it's it's for kids they could find you like forty three thousand dollars per video so i was like well this is crazy i don't want to do that that's what um yeah, so that scared me away for a while. Then I started teaching a lot, um, and that was taking up a lot of my time. And I was getting all that sorted. And I was doing a, I was doing um, some, uh, I was doing a musical, and uh, I was also at, at one point dealing with some depression and stuff like that. But you know, with all this co coronavirus stuff going on, I figured I need to come back. I need to give you guys something to laugh at, something to do, and uh, you know, give you guys a couple lessons while we're doing all this. Yeah, basically, a whole lot of stuff was happening, and uh, YouTube uh, scared me away. But I'm at the point now where if like if the FTC decides that they're going to fine me because I, uh, it, it, and it's all it's 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 basically it's YouTube's fault that all this stuff is happening. The creators like like me or FGTV or any of those that are like generally audience sort of thing. Um, we haven't done anything wrong. It's it's entirely YouTube that's done wrong stuff. Um, but if like the FTC decides that they want to come after me and you know find me like millions of dollars, that's fine. I uh, you know I don't have that kind of money. But if they want to do that, that's fine. And I just I've stopped caring because that's so wrong. And there's no way that any uh, any jury would ever like agree. Uh, and you know, if I, if I took it to court, I'm sure, I'm sure they'd be like, well, this is stupid. There's no way you're doing that. Right. So, uh, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I just, 
don't care. I'm going to keep making videos for you guys. And if the FTC decides, how dare he make videos for general audiences, but then okay. All right. Anyway, back to work. That's where I've been. Um, so we've answered all of these questions, right? We, if you're just joining us now, we got a little off topic there, but here we are. So we are doing a honey baked ham commercial right now. There's a couple bees. And before we start, we're asking ourselves, right? Who, what, where, when, why, how, what, right? Who are we? What do we want? Where are we? When is it? Why do we want what we want? How will we get what we want? And what is standing in our way? Excuse me. Burpy, burpy. I'm burping a lot today. All right, so B1, right? We got B1. Well, this is basically for both of them. Anyway, so, all right, let's internalize all this, guys. We're going to internalize all this. We thought you were dead. No, I, uh, I am not dead. <laughs> I am not dead. I am here. All right, so let's answer all these questions, right? So, who are we? We are bees that are sassy and mad, right? So now that we've answered that, right, we want you to, uh, with this technique, you got to think about yourself, right? I am now, I'm sassy and I'm mad, right? Think, uh, see if you can think of a time in your life that might have made you sassy and mad, right? See if you can come up with something in your mind. We call this an as if, as if. It's as if I was uh, being grounded, right, and... Uh, I felt it was a unfair punishment, right? Let's say I had eaten the last cookie, right? I had eaten the last cookie, maybe, uh, and my parents grounded me for eating the last cookie, right? I'm going to be mad, and I'm going to be really sassy about it, too. That is completely unjust, right? See if you can come up with something like that, right, uh, in your mind. So you can just feel in your body, right, what does sassy and mad feel like, right? Cool. Cool. And then next, what do we want? We want to be thanked. Why is that so difficult, right? So now, again, think of a moment in your in in your life or something that you can imagine, right, of wanting to be thanked, right? You've done something and you want to be thanked for it, right? Like if uh, I don't know, uh random example if if let's say i go to the store right and there's no more uh, there's one piece of toilet or there's one piece of toilet paper they're selling it <laughs> toilet paper is so scarce now they're selling it by the sheet no uh <laughs> no let's say uh, i'm going to the store right we got all this craziness going on right now and there's one thing of toilet paper left there's one more thing of it and i'm like you know what there's like this old lady that comes by right and i'm like you know what you take it. I'll, I'll figure something out. <laughs> I'll, I'll go find another store, right? When I give that to them, you'd expect to be thanked, right? And if you weren't thanked, you'd be mad about that, right? Like, that's clearly such a selfless act that was, like, very, very kind, right? And if you didn't get just a, just a thank you, right? You'd be mad about that, or at least I would. And again, not every as if has to work for everybody. Think of something for yourself where you would want to be thanked, right? Here's something I would do. I would want to be thanked. I would be really annoyed if I was not thanked for doing that. See if you can think of something in your life that would do that. Cool? All right. Good, good, good. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. Exactly. Um... <laughs> Leaf for a pine cone. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> Perfect. It doesn't make any sense. People are people are dumb. Um, <laughs> anyway, okay, so cool. So now we've got where. Where are we? We're at the beehive. It's basically our home, right? To the bees, right? We're a bee, right? I'm a bee. I'm at my home, right? Think about how you feel when you are at your home, at your personal castle, right? Think about how you feel, you know, just when you're home, right? It's a place, uh, it's your place, right? You rule this land right here, right? Or like in your room, even. We can go with that. That's even more, more personal, right? This is my place, right? I rule this castle right here, right? So feel, just think about for yourself, how does it feel to be, you know, at home in my room, you know, or, or anywhere, you know, some place where you are like, 
in charge, right? This is a place where, you know, I rule this place. It could be in a video game, like, or, or anything. Just, like, a place that you can think would be, uh, would be similar to the bees in their beehive, right? All right, cool. Because that's all this is. That's all this is. We're answering these questions, right? Step one, right? We answer all these questions. Step two, internalize it right right that's the whole thing right so uh step one for acting we analyze the script right we analyze the script who what where when why how what right step two go through internalize that figure out how does that feel for me right now i often get questions about like well what if i'm being a character or what if i'm you know being somebody else right um yes we'll get to that but any character that you ever play, part of it has to come from you, right? Like, uh, otherwise, when different people play the same role, it would be exactly the same, right? If you could just completely detach yourself from who you are and just be this other person, right? Then every person that plays Belle in Beauty and the Beast, they would all be the exact same, right? The Beast would always be the same, Uh you know, for every character, right? They would all be exactly the same. And we all know that's not the case, right? Spider-Man. There's like, how many different Spider-Man now? Do we have three? I think we have three Spider-Mans right now, right? And if they, you know, if it didn't come from partially a place within them, they would all be exactly the same, but they are not the same. Those three are very different, right? So it's always got to come a little bit from within yourself, right? So before we're putting on characters and stuff like that, we got to we got to figure out what's coming from within us, right? So, uh yeah. So we're internalizing stuff. Good. All right. So, when is it? When is it? Spring, summer, flowers around during the day, right? So we could picture that, right? Think about that. Create a little mental image in your head of what's going on out there. How does that feel? What does that look like? What's around you? Are there any are there any trees or flowers or birds? What's what's going on around you? Cool. Very peaceful, right? It's very peaceful, right? Why? Why do we want what we want? We want to be thanked because we deserve respect. We are being used and abused, and our honey is awesome, right? So, uh, why do we want what we want? We uh, we are we want this because it's an injustice, right? It's an injustice. It's an injustice. Oh, did I? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I thought I typed. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I typed. Um, <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, right. So, okay. So we gotta think. All right. Let's think of. Let's think of in our in our lives. What's like an injustice? Think of an injustice that we want to right. Right. Think of that. Think of that for yourself. Right. Think of it. Uh, is there something you know? going on that you think is uh is unfair anything like that all right good 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 all right you're here because you want to learn to act <laughs> i assume because <laughs> that's what we're teaching right now all right so yeah think of a of an injustice that you uh you feel is is wrong and feel how that feels in your body right how does that make you feel are there any emotions that come up from that cool all right Next, how? We're going to confront them. We're going to put them in their place, right? We're going to call out this nonsense. I got my vinegar. Oh, boy. Okay. So we're going to confront them. We're going to put them in their place, call out this nonsense. See if you can think of something in your life that would make you confront somebody right think of i mean it could be something that that you have confronted people about right you put them in their place you called out this nonsense see if you can think of something in your life that would do that right cool 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 yeah like uh for me uh i can think of you know uh, when i was little there was this kid that was like picking on my brother and i like tried to fight him right i didn't win that fight but <laughs> But I like confronted him. I try to put him in his place. Call out this nonsense, right? Um, 
Yeah. So 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 that's what you want to do with that, right? And then what is standing in our way? Ungrateful people. These humans who don't see the value of our hard work, right? How much work we put into this, right? So see again. See if you can think of something in your life where you're like, oh, these people are so ungrateful. Like, if I could just reach them and tell them how silly what they're doing is, they they just need to say thank you. That they're so ungrateful. See if you can think of something like that in your own life, right? ASMR. Oh, was that? Did, did could you guys hear? Oh, it's weird. I'm sorry. Yes, see me. You do have a list of you calling people's crap. <laughs> yeah, brat people, right? Yeah, cool. All right, so back to what we were doing. All right, so we've done this, right? So we know who. Who are we? We are bees that are sassy and mad. What do we want? We want to be thanked. It's very simple. Why is that so difficult? All right, we're at the beehive, right, at our home. It's spring, summer, flowers around during the day. That's when it is. Why do we want what we want? We deserve respect. This is an injustice. We are being used and abused. Excuse me. And our honey is awesome. How are we going to get that? We're going to confront them. We're going to put them in their place. We're going to call them out on this nonsense. And what's standing in our way from getting thanked? These ungrateful people. These humans who do not value our hard work, right? So internalize all that. Just think about that. Get in that headspace right there. And let's do this, all right? Everybody together, all right? Internalize all that, and we're good to go. Hi, we're bees, and we're mad. Have you ever gone up to a bee and said, Hey, you bee, thanks for inspiring the great taste of honey-baked ham. No, you haven't. Whatever, you love it, you enjoy it, but you never thank us. And you wonder why we sting. <laughs> there we go. And that is, uh, that is the Stanislavski technique in action. Oh, just over an hour. All right. That is usually how long my lessons take, too. I always go just a little over an hour. <laughs> so really, really good job today, guys. I hope you guys all did uh, did that along with me. Um, I have some scripts uh, down in the description. These are all uh, real scripts that I... Uh, use in some of my some of my lessons some of my classes um and uh yeah you guys all have my email address and stuff now so if you uh want any private lessons uh feel free to reach out um i uh you know i'm i'm hoping to do a couple more like this uh where i can you know teach you guys um a little bit right here but it's always hard you know <laughs> to do an acting lesson if you don't actually get feedback personally um but yeah I, uh, I'm also working on some other things to hopefully, you know, teach you guys, uh, some more acting stuff as well. So thank you guys all so, so much for hanging out today. I hope this was helpful. Um, and, uh, yeah, I will see you guys, uh, probably, uh, on Monday. I think I'm taking tomorrow off. I don't think I'll be, uh, making a video for Sunday. Um, but Monday at 3 p.m., there should be a new VO Adam video uh, up and ready to go. I'm thinking um, my schedule's probably going to change, so I do um, videos. Uh, uh, we, we, we'll see, but I'm thinking eventually what the schedule's going to be is Tuesday through Saturday I'll make videos, and then Sunday and Monday I might take off. We'll see. It's still up in the air. Um, I'm a lot more busy than I used to be. I can't make videos every single day anymore. Um, but uh, thank you guys so much. Yes, uh, again, yeah, I apologize if I have not gotten any of your um, any of your shout outs yet. Um, it's uh, I got hundreds of those things so I have like so so many more than I thought I would get so I've each day I've been recording you know as many as I can without losing my voice and all that but yeah it's it's it's, it's taking a while to get to all of them so thank you all so so much I love you all Cuphead loves you too Mugman does too Balder says hi Double is right here um hey King Dice 
principal and uh our gene crafters hello <laughs> bye guys love you all have a good rest of your day and uh yeah feel free to check back in on this if it uh if you want to check back in on any of the stuff that we talked about who what where when why how what and strong and wrong make a choice thank you guys see you next time love you